Well, hi everybody. This is your stay at home grandma, and I'm making butter, plain and herb. Um, have some. Mm, that was great. Heavy cream. Dash of salt. Build a little bit of, you know, you know my spells. Put this on here. Take this over to my blender, which is behind me. I can mop up something too, so I can mop up as I'm talking. Okay. I'm going over my blender, and I will be back. a little spill, gotta mop it up. Let's go for the bed. Be any fun if I didn't have any skills, right? And I gotta turn my um, blender up a little higher when I go over there, too. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to turn the blender up. Let it start to go. I 
turn it off for a minute. I'm going to go back and um, get, get a spoon and push it down. But I got to mop this little mess up there that I made. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. I'm wondering if the kids are going to go back to school or what's going to happen. So let me just wash my hands and then get over and put this down just a little bit. So I'm still here. I'm just kind of walking around. I'm just cleaning my hands. It's a heavy blender, which is why I don't carry it around. I have the other little one, but doesn't do like this one does. This is a Vitamix. So I'm walking behind here. And I'm going to stir it down just a little bit. I'll loosen up in a minute.
Now, separate it. it whipped itself into butter and corn milk. I'm going to take this chocolate off, give them a bowl, show you what I'm talking about. And you can do it in your food processor. You can do it in your food processor, or you can do it in a blender, in a good blender, in a blender, you know, that you make things in. I don't think that there's a cheap blender. Now, here's the bowl. You're going to pour this into the bowl with a, with a, a, a cotton cloth or a, um, I'll show it to you as soon as I get everything out. away from the screen more than I want it to be, but I had to get this, I spilled some cream, so I had to get it up. So then, I got to get a knife, too, to get all the butter out that I'm supposed to get. Doing this again, find out why. Now what will happen is that the buttermilk will strain down into the into the bowl. That's why you have a bowl and then you have your um You want to get all of that out of there because that's all that goodness. 
So we got all the notes. Now the difference with this butter and the butter that you buy from the store, it's a lot creamier and it's a lot whiter because they have to put some preservatives in it in order for the butter to stay. Now, this is the, let me get this out the freezer. This is the butter that I made yesterday. Now this is a lot more because this was a half one, I think. This is the butter that I made yesterday and put it in the freezer. You can see it. And this is the butter that I made just now. Now, this, let's see if I can get this up without spilling anything. This is the butter that I made now. So this is a little bit more because that was a half a pint of heavy cream and this was a pint of heavy cream. Now, you're gonna take this and you're gonna wrap it up. You're gonna leave this overnight so that all the liquid come out. Squeeze some of it out. And then tomorrow, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to herbal make different, you know, make different kinds of butter. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the garlic butter. Really, if I was going to use just the half a pint, I probably would have put the garlic in and let it blend with it. But I didn't because some of it I want, you know, for table butter and some of it I want for garlic. You can do so much with making butter. I Think, well, only one I know is Cumberland Farms, and I think that they sell the um, the half gallons of um, heavy cream. Um, but like I said, you can make it, and butter is now costing store butter unless you get a sale is now costing about five six ninety nine for or six ninety nine for a pound of butter, which is four sticks or solid butter. So you can get cream. Some of your, your stores like Aldi's and when they have sales and stuff like that. And then you can make your butter. And it's just so much creamier. Okay. Butter doesn't last long in my house anyway. Now my husband doesn't use, doesn't like anything but butter. My mother never used, well, she made the butter. That's how I made the butter. And she made the butter with um, the electric beater. But then we've got a blender and she did it in the blender. So I just did it. But I do, I do occasionally buy store butter and I'm getting back to, well, for me, I'm retired. So I'm looking for things to do that I enjoy and I enjoy making bread and butter and you'll see me doing all kinds of things. And since other people stay in the house, see, I don't mind staying in the house. That's a long story for another time. But anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section and I will talk to you later. I love you. God bless. Stay safe. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.